Okay, the search button. Actually, the search buttons. My two most favorite buttons in the product. I spend most of my time in, in the searches. Um, so we're going to go over the search button first. The search all allows you to search all the tables at once, where the search is a single table search. Um, if you select a, uh, a different table here, it's going to redraw the screen with the new table, uh, everything about the new table. We're going to go back to accounts for the demonstration now. Alright, so it's divided into three areas. Uh, the first area over here on the left is the, the columns that you want to show. So we're going to click on that button. It's going to pick my favorite columns, and that's configurable. Um, in my case, I've got ID, date entered, deleted, and name. To that, I'm going to add created by and assigned user ID. And I'll show you why in a little bit. Over here, I'm going to select my search criteria. I'm going to search by billing city and billing country. I'm going to leave that one. Um, so my billing city is going to be Cupertino. I just hit C and it pulls up all the cities that have a C in them for me from the database. I'm going to pick Cupertino. Here I'm going to pick United States. And I'm going to sort by name. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to sort ascending. All right, so the last area that you can do is the joins area. Now this goes out to the relationship data that's already in Sugar, custom relationship, stock relationship, whatever. And it gives you the ability to add them. We're gonna add the custom table, the created by, and the assigned user relationships. We're gonna hit submit. That's gonna go out and create a fairly complex query. And there's your data. You know, created by is admin, Signed is Chris. You got admin and Chris, admin and Sally. Um, all your data is there. There's your custom data there. Uh, you already have all your joins in place. You have your table aliases already spelled out. So here you can go into edit query and you can just go to town and, and change whatever it is you need to change. Um, again, it's smart enough to know what what's a module and what's should be made into a link um, and that's about it for searching a table uh, fairly complete very fairly powerful the search all is probably the more fun of the two um, I use it for two it's really useful for two different cases first would be that you have an ID and we're going to type in an ID there um, I'm going to search for that ID, the exact phrase. That means it's going to search for that string. Um, it doesn't automatically put wildcards in there, so you'd have to put wildcards in there if you wanted wildcards. In this case, obviously, I don't want a wildcard. Um, you can also search for words. You can search for at least one of the words or all of the words. Uh, words are separated by spaces. Um, so you can search descriptions and things like that. We're going to search in all tables, but we're only going to search in the ID fields. What this control is, is this is the name of every field in every table in Sugar um, once. So billing address city is in multiple tables, but it's only listed here once. Um, campaign ID might be in multiple tables listed here once. It's only going to search campaign ID if campaign ID appears in that table. So it's smart enough to make the query match the actual fields in the, uh, in the table itself. So if we hit submit, it's going to go out there and it's going to find that ID. And here we have it in accounts. We have one match in accounts, of course. We have four matches in accounts con contacts, one in uh, opportunities. We have a call. We have a case. Uh, so you see every place that I, that ID happens to be. Now if we uh, select show, it's going to show us the query. There's the accounts query, and there's all of the uh, where clause that it had to do to get this record. Uh, this record happens to have the ID of, of this. Um, if it had been in any one of those fields, then it would have shown up. It still would have shown up. Um, the other use case that I use this for quite frequently is when I'm testing things like uh, I'll save an account. I'll go get that account's 
uh, date modified. I'll put that in here, select all, and I'll select all date fields. And that will give me um, that will give me all the records that were updated or have that date in them. And nine chance not you know, you could just go down here and select date modified if you want. Um, you know, select the date fields, you know, if you want to look at all date fields. But if you wanted to, you could just go down here, there's date entered, date modified, you could change this to just date modified. And it would show you all the records that were modified at the same time as your account was. Um, and then you can sort of see what was updated. You know, maybe logic hooks are updating something. Um, you know, it's most useful when something's getting updated and it shouldn't be. Um, or added. Um, you know, if it's it's adding a second field or something, you know, a second record or something like that, you could uh, add a date entry to that. So that's search all. Search all is extremely cool when you need it. Uh, nothing else fills the bill. It lets you search the entire database at once instead of just one table. And it's kind of full text search type of thing, but it's not really. Uh, it just makes up, you know, 100 queries, and they run fairly quickly. You saw how fast that came back. So that's the searches buttons. Um, I'm sure they're going to change in the next couple releases. I'm going to rearrange some screens and uh, add some functionality, but it's fairly powerful and useful as it is. Talk to you later.